Hi guys, Tex back here with another video review. This time we're looking at the Maestro 118 scale Audi R8. Um, Audi R8, I think, was I like the Audi R8 when the Nevis Speed Un Carbon game came out, where they had the concept in it. I liked it from there, and then Iron Man, blah blah blah. So it's pretty cool. Um, I actually did borrow this off my brother to review. Uh, I will be get eventually getting one, uh, but this. Uh, Maestro model is pretty cool, even though Maestro, Maestro are like cheap model makers, if you know what I mean. I think it costs like 20, 25 quid. And to be fair, it's, the details are there, even though it's not like uh, Kyosho or Auto Art, it's still pretty cool. Um, the, the detail only I like the most is the, the style of carbon fibre it looks on it. It's not actually carbon fibre, but it looks like carbon fibre. It's pretty cool. It's it's not just painted on, it's actually um, moulded in. I'll show that off a little later. But it has all the basic features of a 118th scale model car. It rolls. Sorry about the noise. It rolls. There. Pretty cool. It has opening doors. Let's open the doors. It has an opening, well, I don't know what you should call this, I think I call it a bonnet boot, slash boot. And then, here, boot, and it also has an extra feature, it has a spoiler there as well, pops up, and the wheels do turn when you turn the steering wheel. Although you have to lift it up a bit, sorry about making noise, lift it up like that. In order to do because the weight of the car doesn't seem to, I don't want to risk breaking it. But basically, it does have the features of a 118th scale car. Now, I'll quickly do a size comparison to get that out of the way. Here is the James Bond Dino of the Day Aston Martin Vanquish, and here is the Chrysler Charger. Roll it in there. As you can see, just put the camera up. You can see it fits in quite well. Um, Pretty sure that uh, this time it's actually a scale, a proper scale, because I think is it Maestro Barago? Remember the Aston Martin they did? Well, it was a completely different size to the Aston Martin. Uh, they didn't scale that properly at all. Um, so hopefully this is actually the right scale for it. Oh, just really quick, here's the Lamborghini Transformer car, just to, because I ain't got a Lamborghini. I'm just saying, uh, so yeah. Pretty cool against other cars. Um, the paintwork is brilliant. There's no bleeding or anything like that. It's silver. You can get it in other colours like white and red and black. Um, it looks pretty good in silver and it looks pretty good in black. The red is a bit sort of in your face and the white is a little bit boring. But anyway, that's my opinion. Um, Pretty cool. Got some details. There is one thing you'll notice that on the wheels there is no um, Audi symbol. It's because the rub off really is here. Painted on, not printed on, and that's a bit of a pain in the ass. But you can't really tell. But someone who likes detail, like me, is a pain. And on the back you have Audi R8. Let me just because the shiny colour. Of the shiny colour of light, yeah. Shiny, the the brightness of the light is bouncing off the body. You can see, R8 there. RD symbol. You have a place for a licence plate. The lights are pretty cool. They're, they're actually, there's something moulding in the back to look like lights in the back, which is pretty cool. Um, the vents, although the vents, again, because me, why can't they just put vents that you can see through? It just annoys me. Exhaust there. And on the side, like I said, with the carbon fibre, it's actually, if you can hear that, it's actually in a texture on there which pr looks pretty cool. There's them side blades. And then inside the side blades, you can't see. you got a vent in there. Again, it's moulded in vent. Why well, can't they just put a vent all the way through? Then you can get vents at the front here. Moulded in. The lights are moulded in too. Pretty cool. All in all, it's a pretty good vehicle, uh, scaled-down vehicle, for the price. 
you know, you know, rims as well. And you've got the brake discs in the back there, and it says R8 on there, if you can just see it, if I can just focus in properly. Yes. Pretty cool. Uh, it's pretty, it's really light, you can tell that decent model cars are really heavy, but it is, di it is die cast all the way through the body, which some model ca maker cars, maker cars, model makers don't really do these, I've seen some plastic ones and they're really, really, well I don't want to say the word, but it, it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty ship, ship, uh, but anyway, it's pretty cool, underneath, not much, just tells you the details of the car, name of the car and everything, and it's got some detail stuff in there, but hey, who looks underneath the car, and it does have suspension, although the front suspension's a bit well, broken, for some weird reason, but suspension there, which is pretty cool, and some at the front, um, I think it's just the way it was put together, um, yeah, one screen, moulding in, lights too, just trying to get all the details for you, um, the engine isn't 3D, uh, just open it up. It's just on the top, but it's still pretty good, pretty good molded though. You've got the R8 FSI, whatever that is. And this spoil thing is pretty cool. If you put it up where you've got the bonnet slash hood, hood up, it's um, bonnet slash boot up. It's not gonna fall. It's gonna, but bring it down. It's like a just enough to get your nail in there. Lift it up and you've got the spoiler. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and the boot slash bonnet does have a space in there. I know that the Kyosha one is, isn't that much different to this, except there's actually carpet in there. Although it is slightly got texture in there, but anyway, not much in there. Um, yeah, similar look inside. Now it's difficult because of the way the shape of the car, but if you look inside there, like so, you've got pedals, dashboard, pretty, it's detailed enough. It, it, it's not that bad, but I prefer more detail. And you've got the gear stick in there, and you've got the fuel cap. So, on all, it's a decent um, model car. A lot I prefer the one with more detail in it, and you've got the reverse light there. So if it, if you're on a budget and you don't really care about detail, I mean when I say detail, I mean a little bit more detail like carpets and seat belts and stuff. Although it, it does have seat belts, I've just looked in there. Um, I recommend getting this. It's I think twenty to twenty five pounds, pretty cheap. Recommend getting it. Now, if you want more detail and stuff like me, I recommend getting the Kyosho or Auto Art ones, just just to have that little bit extra of stuff it has. It's, it has all the basic same features. It has the spoiler, the doors, things and everything. It's just that it's got more detail in it, and I'm not sure about the vents at the front. I'm, I'm just I'm just nitpicking now, but anyway, that's what I recommend. I'll just do a quick side comparison with. Silver Streak since I've done the others. So you can see that Silver Streak is pretty small compared to the 118th scale car. Taking on my ranting out of it, definitely recommend getting this. It's a decent car, it's cheap, it's pretty cool. Um, I do th recommend that you don't buy this for a child, it's not a toy. Uh, even the Hot Wheels are brought on, this mold, this mold the Hot Wheels brought out still do it's not for a child because there's small bits that come off especially the wing mirrors and everything will come off um that's why the plastic ones were invented which when i say invented and made for children that because it can be bashed around and it's fine and um if this die cast gets damaged it is very sharp so yeah this is tech spark don't forget to like comment and subscribe and add me on twitter at tech 217 see you later